The Lotus Sutra, Chapter 25, The Gateway to Every Direction, Manifested by Bodhisattva of Alokitesvara. Translated into Chinese in the Yao Qin Dynasty by the Tripitaka Master Kumarajiva from Kucha, and in the Sui Dynasty by Shramana Jnana Gupta from Gandhara. Translated from Chinese into English by Tsugunuari Kubo and Akira Yuyama, Second Revised Edition. The unsurpassed, profound, and wonderful Dharma is difficult to encounter in hundreds of millions of eons. I now see and hear it, receive and uphold it, and I vow to fathom the Tathagata's true meaning. Thereupon, arising from his seat, with his right shoulder bared, Bodhisattva Aksayamati faced the Buddha with his palms pressed together and spoke thus to him, quote, O Bhagavat, for what reason is Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara, hearer of the sounds of the world, called Avalokitesvara? The Buddha answered Bodhisattva Aksayamati, saying, quote, O son of a virtuous family, if innumerable hundreds of thousands of myriads of kotis of sentient beings who experience suffering hear of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara and wholeheartedly chant his name, Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara will immediately perceive their voices and free them from their suffering. Even if those who hold to the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara were to enter a great fire, because of this Bodhisattva's transcendent power, the fire would not be able to burn them. If they were adrift on the great waters, by chanting his name, they would reach the shallows. There are hundreds of thousands of myriads of kotis of sentient beings who enter the great ocean to seek such treasures as gold, silver, lapis lazuli, mother of pearl, agate, coral, amber and pearl. Even if a cyclone were to blow the ship of one of these toward the land of Raksasa demons, they would all become free from the danger of those Raksasa demons if there were even a single person among them who chanted the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara. For this reason he is called Avalokitesvara. If anyone who is about to be beaten chants the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara, the sticks and swords will immediately be broken into pieces and he will be delivered. If the yaksas, raksasas filling the great manifold cosmos come with the intent to afflict the people but hear them chanting, those demons' evil eyes will be unable to see them, so how could they possibly hurt them? If anyone, whether guilty or innocent, is bound with fetters or chains, such bonds will be broken into pieces, and those who have been bound will become free by chanting the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara. When a caravan leader travels on a dangerous road together with his fellow merchants, carrying precious treasures in a great manifold cosmos filled with evil robbers, if there be a single person who says, quote, O oh, sons of a virtuous family, do not fear. You should wholeheartedly chant the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara. This Bodhisattva bestows fearlessness upon sentient beings. If you chant his name, you will be free from these evil robbers. Now, if those merchants chant loudly in unison, saying, Homage to Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara, then, by chanting his name, the caravan will immediately gain deliverance. O Akshayamati, the transcendent power of Bodhisattva Mahasattva of Alokitesvara is as great and mighty as this. If there are any sentient beings who are greatly subject to sensual desires, if they contemplate Bodhisattva of Alokitesvara with respect, they will become free from these desires. 
If there are any sentient beings who often become angry, if they contemplate Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara with respect, they will become free from anger. If there are any sentient beings who are greatly confused, if they contemplate Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara with respect, they will become free from their confusion. O Aksayamati, thus Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara greatly benefits sentient beings through his transcendental power. For this reason, sentient beings should always turn their thoughts to him. If any woman wanting to have a baby boy pays homage and makes offerings to Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara, she will bear a baby boy endowed with good merit and wisdom. If she wants to have a baby girl, she will bear a beautiful and handsome baby girl who has planted roots of good merit and will have the love of sentient beings. O Aksayamati, such are the transcendent powers of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara that if any sentient being reverently respects him, the merit they achieve will never be in vain. For this reason, sentient beings should hold to the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara. O Aksayamati, what do you think of someone who holds to the names of the Bodhisattvas equal in number to the sands of sixty-two Kotis of Ganges rivers and pays homage to them with drink and food, clothes, bedding, and medicine? Is the merit of this son or daughter of a virtuous family great or not? Aksayamati answered, saying, O Bhagavat, it is great. The Buddha said, If there is anyone who holds to the name of Bodhisattva Avalokitesvara, and anyone who pays homage to him and makes offerings even for a moment, the merit of these two people will be equal and the same. It will never be extinguished after hundreds of thousands of myriads of kotis of kalpas. O Aksayamati, those who hold to the name of Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara will attain such benefits of immeasurable and limitless merit. The Bodhisattva Aksayamati addressed the Buddha, saying, quote, O Bhagavat, how does the Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara wander through this Saha world? How does he teach the Dharma for the sake of sentient beings? What if his power of skillful means? The Buddha said to Bodhisattva Aksayamati, O son of a virtuous family, if there is any land where sentient beings are to be saved by the form of a Buddha, Bodhisattva of Alokitesvara teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a Buddha. To those who are to be saved by the form of a Pratyeka Buddha, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a Pratyeka Buddha. To those who are to be saved by the form of a Sravaka, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a Sravaka. To those who are to be saved by the form of a Brahma, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a Brahma. To those who are to be saved by the form of a Sakra, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a sakra. To those who are to be saved by the form of Isvara, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of Isvara. To those who are to be saved in the form of Mahasvara, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of Mahasvara. To those who are to be saved by the form of the great commander of the Devas, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of the great commander of the Devas. To those who are to be saved by the form of Vaisravana, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of Vaisravana. To those who are to be saved by the form of a minor king, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a minor king. To those who are to be saved by the form of a wealthy man, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a wealthy man. To those who are to be saved by the form of a householder, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a householder. 
to those who are to be saved by the form of a state official, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a state official. To those who are to be saved by the form of a Brahmin, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a Brahmin. To those who are to be saved by the form of a monk, nun, layman or laywoman, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a monk, nun, layman or laywoman. To those who are to be saved by the form of a wife, of either a wealthy man, a householder, a state official or a Brahmin, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of such a wife. To those who are to be saved by the form of a boy or girl, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of a boy or a girl. To those who are to be saved by the form of a human or of a non-human, such as a Deva, Naga, Yaksa, Gandharva, Asura, Garuda, Kimnara, or Maharaga, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into any of these forms. To those who are to be saved by the form of Vajrapani, he teaches the Dharma by changing himself into the form of Vajrapani. O Aksayamati, this Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara displays such qualities, wanders through many lands in various forms, and saves sentient beings. For this reason, you should wholeheartedly pay homage to Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara. This Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara bestows fearlessness in times of fearful calamity. For this reason, everybody in this Saha world calls him Abhya Amadada, giver of fearlessness. The Bodhisattva Aksayamati addressed the Buddha, saying, quote, O Bhagavat, I shall now pay homage to Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara. He then took from his neck a many-jeweled necklace worth hundreds of thousands of gold coins, gave it to him and said, quote, I entreat you to accept this rare jeweled necklace for the Dharma. At that time, Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara did not dare to receive it. Aksayamati addressed Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara, saying, quote, I entreat you to accept this necklace out of pity for us. Then the Buddha said to Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara, quote, You should accept this necklace out of pity for such humans and non-humans as this Bodhisattva Aksayamati, the fourfold assembly, Devas, Nagas, Yaksas, Gandharvas, Asuras, Garudas, Kimnaras, and Maharagas. The Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara accepted the necklace out of pity for the fourfold assembly, Devas, Nagas, humans, non-humans, and the rest. He then divided it into two parts and gave one part to the Buddha Sakyamuni and the other part to the stupa of the Buddha Prabhutaratna. O Aksayamati, with such inherent transcendent powers, Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara wanders through this Saha world. Thereupon, Bodhisattva Aksayamati asked a question in verse, saying, quote, O Bhagavat, endowed with excellent marks, I now wish to ask you about him once again. For what reason is the heir of the Buddha named Avalokitesvara? The Bhagavat, endowed with excellent marks, answered Aksayamati in verse. Listen to the practices of Avalokitesvara, which have their application to all. His vow is deep like the ocean, and his kalpa is of inconceivable length. After having attended many thousands of kotis of Buddhas, he made a great pure vow. I will now explain it to you in brief, colon. If you hear his name and see his body and contemplate him in thought, your life will not be in vain, and you will extinguish all suffering. If anyone wants to hurt you and pushes you into a great fire pit, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitesvara, the fire pit will change into a pond. If you drift upon the great ocean 
and meet danger from dragons, fish, and demons, if you contemplate the power of a Valokitas Fara, you will not be swallowed by the waves. If you are on the peak of Sumeru and are pushed by somebody, if you contemplate the power of a Valokitas Fara, you will stay suspended in the air like the sun. If any evil one chases you and pushes you from Mount Diamond, if you contemplate the power of a Valokitas Fara, not even a single hair will be hurt. If evil robbers surround you, each with a sword and the intent to harm, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, the thought of mercy will awaken in them. If you suffer under the punishment of a king and your life is to be ended by execution, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, the sword will be immediately broken into pieces. If you are imprisoned with a neck chain, your hands and feet fettered, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, they will disappear and you will be released. If anyone wants to hurt your body with a curse or poison, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, these ills will return and afflict their authors. If you meet evil Raksasas, poisonous dragons or demons, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, they will not dare to hurt you. If you are surrounded by evil animals whose teeth and claws are fearfully sharp, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, they will run away swiftly and to an immeasurable distance. If there are lizards, snakes, vipers or scorpions whose breath is poisonous like a flaming smoke, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, they will turn away swiftly at the sound of your voice. If thunder resounds, lightning flashes, hail falls, and a great rain pours out of the clouds, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, they will disappear immediately. If sentient beings are in great adversity and immeasurable pain afflicts them, the wonderful power of the wisdom of Avalokitas Fara can relieve the suffering of the world. Endowed with transcendent powers and having fully mastered wisdom and skillful means, in all of the worlds of the Ten Directions, there is no place where he will not manifest himself. The suffering of those in the troubled states of being, colon, hell dwellers, hungry ghosts and animals, and the suffering of birth, old age, illness and death will gradually be extinguished. He who perceives the world with truth, purity and vast knowledge and with benevolence and compassion should be ever longed for and looked up to. He is a spotless pure ray of light, a sun of wisdom that destroys the darkness, a flame that withstands the winds of calamity. He brilliantly illuminates the entire world. His will, the essence of which is compassion, shakes like thunder, and the mind of mercy is like a beautiful overspreading cloud which pours the Dharma rain of immortality and extinguishes the flame of desires. In a dispute before judges, or fearful in the midst of battle, if you contemplate the power of Avalokitas Fara, all enemies will flee away. He has a wondrous voice, the voice of one who perceives the world, a voice like Brahma's, a voice like the rolling tide, a voice unsurpassed in this world. For this reason, you should always contemplate him. You should have no doubt, even for a moment. The pure seer of Alokitas Fara will be a refuge when suffering distress or the misery of death. He is endowed with every quality, sees the sentient beings with his benevolent eyes, and his ocean of merit is immeasurable. For this reason, you should pay him homage. At that time, Bodhisattva Dharaniyam Dara 
arose from his seat, went before the Buddha, and said to him, O Bhagavat, if there are any sentient beings who hear of this chapter, Bodhisattva of Alokitasvara, and these effortless deeds, the manifestation of the gateway to all directions, and the transcendent powers, know that their merit will not be little. When the Buddha taught the chapter, the gateway to every direction, the thought of incomparable highest complete enlightenment awoke in 84,000 sentient beings in the assembly. <laughs>